And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Yuko Meritus, which was a request from Amada Titan via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a sauropod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now the Isle of Wight, England, in the Wessex Formation. And it looked like other sauropods, with the long neck, the four columnar legs, and small head. It's been depicted as having its neck more upright, like Brachiosaurus. There's one estimate that it was about 49 feet or 15 meters long, based on the vertebrae and assuming that it is a brachiosaurid. The type species is Eucomeritus foxi, and the genus name means (laughs) well-chambered. It refers to the hollows of the vertebrae. Oh, I thought it was going to have to do with a heart after all that talk about hearts. (laughs) That'd be funny. Although, how would we know? We definitely would not know about this dinosaur because only a neural arch has been found. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it was named by William Blows in 1995. John Hulk did name Eucomeritus in 1870, but he didn't give it a species name. And in 1870, he wrote about the, quote, neural arch of a huge Wilden vertebra and described that arch that William Fox had found. Later, John Hulk referred Eucomeritus to be a junior synonym of Ornithopsis. And Ornithopsis was a medium-sized sauropod. The genus name means Mm bird-likeness. That's a fun name. It is. In 1882, Hulk described pelvis fossils as Ornithopsis eucomeritus. So they didn't have overlapping material. I guess you just figured it's around the same size and the same place, so must be the same. Something like that. In 1882, Hulk wrote about the pubis and ischium of Ornithopsis eucomeritus, that the late Reverend William Fox, who had found the bones, quote, permitted me to take a rough sketch of them, but for a long time he would not allow their complete extraction from the rock, nor the readjustment of the many fragments into which they were broken, end quote. And then eventually the British Museum reconstructed those fossils. In 1995, then, William Blow said that Eucomeritus was a valid brachiosaurid. Really? Yes. The species name, Fox Eye, is after William Fox, who collected most of the fossils that was later assigned by Blows as the paratypes. So even though it was described based on a neural arch, there are a few other fossils found that have been referred to it. That definitely helps. Yes. It's still very fragmentary. And Blows said that Owen, Seeley, Hulk, and others established several sauropods, quote, mostly based on inadequate material. End quote. For example, Ornithopsis hulkai was named based on two dorsal centra. Back vertebrae. All these dinosaurs, especially sauropods, just named based on a couple of vertebrae. <laughs> not a big fan. <laughs> well, not all of them. But anyway, Blows found that only the holotype of Ornithopsis was Ornithopsis, and that other fossils that were referred to Ornithopsis were either Eucomeritus or Sauropoda incertacetus. Just some kind of sauropod. In the past, Ornithopsis and Eucomeritus have also been synonymized with Pelorosaurus, but Blow said that they should be considered separate because none of the type specimens have any overlapping fossils to compare with. Yeah, I tend to go a little bit more in that direction. <laughs> yes. Then Blow's referred dorsal vertebrae and other fossils, those five paratypes, to Eucomeritus, but actually not everyone agrees with this because they don't have the same features as the holotype. S.V. Powell wrote about how Ornithopsis and Eucomeritus were named based on type specimens that were quote, unquote, pretty undiagnostic, (laughs) though the neural arch of Eucomeritus does have one unique feature, which are robust parapophyses, projections of vertebrae. In 2001, Nash and Martel suggested that Eucomeritus was a dubious brachiosaurid, and Upchurch and others in 2004 considered it to be dubious. But then Campbell and others in 2017 found Eucomeritus to be valid, though I'm not sure if that paper was peer-reviewed. It was hard to check. There's another specimen known as the Barnes High sauropod that may be Eucomeritus. It's undescribed, but it was found in 1992 in the Wessex Formation, and it's about 40% complete with similarities in the vertebrae to Eucomeritus. Hmm, that would definitely help a lot. It would, except the ownership of the specimen is complicated and it doesn't sound like it's available to researchers. Yeah. Yep. Maybe one day. Now, Eucomeritus lived in a semi-arid environment with lots of conifers and ferns. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included other sauropods, theropods such as compsognathids, spinosaurs, tyrannosaurs, raptors, and ornithischians such as iguanodonts and heterodonts. 
and other animals that lived around the same time and place included fish, turtles, plesiosaurs, pterosaurs, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 